these Pokemon. Pokemon creatures are like virtual cyber demons. Yes, digital demons. Digital demons. These Pokemon creatures are like virtual cyber demons. Thus said evangelical Christian pastor Rick Wiles after the launch of Pokemon Go in 2016. And he's not completely wrong. A lot of Pokemon are influenced by supernatural beings in Japanese religion and mythology, specifically two types of supernatural beings called Kami and Yokai. In the Japanese religion of Shinto, Kami in the most basic sense of the word are spirits, or sometimes translated as gods. Some kami are indeed anthropomorphic deities like the sun goddess Amaterasu or Inari Okami, patron of agriculture and prosperity. But other kami are less clearly defined. The numinous spirits of places like mountains or rivers or the spirits of natural forces like the wind. Kami are at the center of Shintoism, which encompasses the institutions and rituals and beliefs that orbit the worship of Kami in Japan. Yokai, on the other hand, are a type of ghost, monster, or demon in Japanese mythology. The scholar of Japanese folklore, Michael Dylan Foster, who has written some of the most definitive books on Yokai, leaves the definition open-ended, but he says it could be translated as monster, spirit, goblin, ghost, demon, phantom, specter, fantastic being, or lower order deity. There isn't a clear distinction between kami and yokai. I do think most scholars would say that these are two types of supernatural being, but the boundary is hazy. Michael Dylan Foster uses the analogy of a water spirit living in a river. A village that benefits from that river's resources might worship that water spirit as a kami. But if you live in the village downstream where the river floods and there's diseases, they might fear that exact same spirit as a malevolent yokai. A renowned Japanese folklorist, Kunio Yanagita, even viewed yokai as fallen kami. As a Japanese video game created by Japanese developers, we shouldn't be surprised that some of this folklore and religion made its way into the game. So, here are a few Pokemon based on Japanese religion. Number 1, Drowsy. Drowsy is a psychic type Pokemon and part of the first generation to be created back in 1996. He's famous for putting his enemies to sleep and then eating their dreams. Drowsy appears to be based off of another tapir snouted creature with a habit of eating dreams dreams called Baku. Baku are yokai that appear in Chinese poetry as far back as the 9th century CE, but by the Edo period in Japan, they had developed into a benevolent protector yokai that eats your nightmares. You could even put an image of a Baku by your bed to protect you from bad dreams. Now, this transition from Chinese mythology to Japanese mythology will come up again and again in this video, and that's because Chinese influences were exerted on Japanese forms of government language, and religion throughout its history, so keep an eye out for that. Moving on to Tornadus and Thunderous. As you approach the Buddhist temple Sensoji in Tokyo, you might notice the statues of two kami as you pass through the gate. Statues of Fujin and Raijin, the god of wind and the god of thunder. Fujin is frequently depicted as a green-skinned anthropomorphic being carrying a big bag of wind. Raijin is portrayed usually with a halo of discs and also sometimes with green skin. The similarities between Fujin and Tornadus are pretty obvious. Both are anthropomorphic, green-skinned beings, and both have the power to control the wind. Thunderous and Raijin are not quite as close, but the similarities are still there, and all of them seem to travel around on a cloud. Moving on to Ninetales, one of my personal favorite Pokemon. This beautiful nine-tailed fox Pokemon is almost an exact copy of Kyubi no Kitsune, the nine-tailed fox kami, or yokai. It really depends on who you ask. Foxes in Japanese mythology have magical powers and shape-shifting abilities, and they're sometimes malevolent. Foxes are also the sidekicks and messengers of the kami Inari, and and actually, if you visit Inari shrines throughout Japan, you'll find statues of foxes to which you can make offerings of fried tofu, showing that traditional Shinto ritual practice is alive and well in Japan, despite its reputation of being relatively non-religious. And finally, we have Dusclops, a ghost Pokemon. Dusclops appears to be modeled after a lantern yokai called a Chochin. Chochin are a part of a special class of yokai called Tsukumogami. 
household objects that after a long time are inhabited by a spirit. This might include umbrellas, haunted tea kettles, or even sandal ghosts. But the paper lantern, a common sight found throughout Japan, is one of the better known examples. Now, besides the single eye and ribbed body, it doesn't seem immediately obvious that Dusclops is supposed to be a lantern. But the video games seem to support this theory. The Emerald version of the Pokédex says that Dusclops' body is hollow, with a spectral ball of fire burning inside. Hollow, with fire inside, sounds a lot like a lantern. Now, I could mention a bunch of other examples, but let's leave that as a challenge to you all to try to find which Pokémon seem to be inspired by Kami and Yokai. Japanese mythology has a rich pantheon of ghosts, demons, and phantoms, and nature is rife with these intermediary beings. In many respects, this parallels what we see in the world of Pokemon, a world where the natural and the supernatural literally interact, a world where humans and godlike beings intermingle. As always, I've put some sources in the description below if you'd like to learn more about Shintoism. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.